Hello guys, welcome to another video by Project Maker. Myself Aditya. I hope you must have got excited after watching my project demo. So, in this video, I will be demonstrating you my weightlift counter project. Before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to watch my video first. Now, without wasting any time, let's move to our computer screen. As you can see, I have already opened OpenCV project playlist in front of you as this video will be the part of this playlist. Now let's move to the destination folder to understand the source code of the project. This is our destination folder and here are some folders and files as you can see. The first folder which is of PyCache file which is responsible for loading and running the program fast second time. This is a virtual environment that I have created for this project. This is the main app file. This is pretend model that I have used for this project. And these are the landmarks file which has a list of landmarks in it, nothing else. And this is a requirements.txt file. Now let's open this folder in VS Code. So as you can see the folder is open in VS Code. And the source code is about only 140 lines as you can see. Let's move ahead. Before exploring the code, let's check the requirements for this project. So the requirements for this project are OpenCV which is must, Pandas for NumPy array processing, MediaPy for detecting our landmarks, Xcalen to perform processing, Tkinter for user interface, Pillow to process image, Pickle to load our model, Custom Tkinter to make GUI more beautiful. So these are all basic requirements to run this project and I have used python 3.7.7 version to run this project. Now let's move to our main program which is this. So first is importing tkinter as tk, importing custom tkinter as tk. So this tkinter is used for enhancing user interface because tkinter user interfaces are becoming old now. After that the next is pandas, numpy and pickle. Pandas and numpy are used for data manipulation to deal with arrays. Pickle is only used to load model. Then after that media pipe which is backbone of our project which is responsible for detecting the pose. Then cv2 window to take live camera feed. Then peel model to deal with images. And after that this is the landmarks. Using this I have simply inputted the list from landmarks.py file. The list is in front of you as you can see. I am talking about this list landmarks. So let's close it. After that the code is of creating a simple tkinter window of size 480 into 700 pixels. The title of tkinter window and adding customized appearance to dark. So which makes our user interface more beautiful. Then this is simple code to create labels. And after that this is the code to display variable contents like the probability of pose, up down information and the number of repetitions that we did. After that the next is counter function which is responsible for resetting the counter of repetition variable to zero when clicked. Then this is a simple code to display reset button in the screen. I hope now the code is visible to you. Then this is a simple code written to show the camera feed on tkinter window. After that the main task begins from here. This draw util functions provides utility functions for drawing landmarks and connections on image. So that dots and lines that you see on my body. They are drawn using this drawing utility method of media pipe. After that this pose method contains the poses of humans that we are interested to detect. Then after that setting the minimum tracking confidence and minimum detection confidence to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 which is 50%. Then the next line is of loading the pretend model in our program and storing it in model variable as you can see. After that the starting the camera and initializing some variables. Then the main function starts. So in the main function, the first step is used to importing the local variables in this function using keyword global as you can see. Then taking a frame from OpenCV window. Then the first task is to process the image which is done using the pose method of media pipe. As you can see in these 3 to 4 lines. 
then the main section comes here of try and accept block in try block this line is responsible for processing the landmarks and converting them into list that we want to give to our model for detecting the poses after that the poses of landmarks are flattened into a row and converted into data frame from prediction using this line which is pd.dataframe taking the row and columns equal to landmarks that are stored in this landmarks.py file after that the probability function comes in picture which is responsible for calculating the probability of the pose which is done using these two lines as you can see then after that if an else part of block comes into picture which is responsible for updating the stage data from up to down and down to up and once current stage becomes up then the counter is incremented by one as you can see then try block closes here and the except block comes and i have written nothing in this except block after that this code is responsible for converting the field taken from open CV window and displaying it into the tick inter window and the last three lines are simply responsible for updating the variables on tick inter window then this detect method is called continuously due to this main loop function as you can see that's why the program was running without terminating itself so this was simple code of 140 lines now let's run this code so for that i will simply open terminal here so as you can see the terminal is open in front of me now i will activate my virtual environment using wait capital s tab small a tab enter so the virtual environment is activated as you can see now i will simply run the file which is python app.py now let's check the program so i hope my face is not visible in the ticketer window but in camera i am visible so assuming this is the weight i am holding i will go down up so as you can see the repetition counter is increased down up it is increased to 3 down up it is increased to 4 down up it is increased to 5 as you can see now let's try this reset button now as you can see the reps has become 0 now let's try once again assuming this is weight in my hand down up down up down up down up down up so this was the basic project that i have created so this was the basic project that i have created is media by tick enter and custom tick enter window i am planning to host this project on steam Lead so you can all use this project daily to be physically fit by at least trying 20 pull ups so that's all for today's video if you like this video then don't forget to share it with your family and friends and if you face any queries while running this project you can simply message me on instagram or in comment section below here comes the end of this video thanks for watching this video